Coastal Empire and Low Country Studios of WJCL News. WJCL News at 6, working for you. 24 shootings in less than a month tonight. We've got the new numbers on the violence on our streets in Savannah. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Renee LaSalle. Kevin and Jennifer are off tonight. And that's where we're starting. Take a look at this map. It shows 19 of those Savannah shootings and where they happened. The latest, Sunday night in the 5200 block of Cordell Street. Well, WJCL's Nick Natario, he's got the details on all of the violence for us tonight. So far, two deaths and only three arrests. Today, Metro holding a news conference talking about why it's been so difficult to get it all under control. Well, Nick Natario, he was there. He joins us with the latest. Hey, Nick. Hi there. Officers say they don't know why there's been such a rash of shootings, but they are confident the public is not at risk because they don't believe these shootings are random. To explain each of the incidents, please put up posters along the briefing room wall. They've dealt with 24 since July 7th at various points around the city. Here's what we learned today. The majority of incidents, officers say the suspect and victim knew each other. They say in three of the cases, the shootings were self-inflicted and three were drug related. Police have made only three arrests, though. Something they say is caused because no one's talking. This was the second police briefing since the gun violence took over. So we asked interim chief Julie Tolbert why it took a month to get this info out. And here's her response. We knew from the very beginning moving forward that this was not a situation where the general public was actually at risk. These were individuals going after each other. So for, for the detectives that were working the cases, we needed to give them the space to gather as much information and intelligence that they needed to to give us feedback on what we were really dealing with. Now, it's not the, just the victims cooperating. Tolbert says the public isn't either so far. Get this, no calls have come into the Crime Stoppers hotline. And while they don't know what's caused this shooting, uh, the spike in shootings, Tolbert says police have increased patrols and they're once again, Renee, pleading with the public to come forward because wow. as we mentioned, no calls into Crime Stoppers with these 24 shootings. All right, thanks, Nick. And of course, we'll stay on top of this story and we will bring you the very latest as it develops. Now,